So this was again, we, we, we had a student interested in a senior thesis with the radar. Actually, he was, he was working with me on something else for a while, and I hadn't gotten in the field. And I said, well, I want to do this, because uh, we got started, we got a little bit of data out there, and I thought, well, one thing about a lot of the students is they can really you know, collect good data and they can focus on it. So um, this was a, he was actually kind of a minister. His family was, uh, he built this beautiful house out there, and then uh, he started getting cracks in the walls, and um, he was afraid, basically, it was gonna, his bedroom was gonna fall like the guy in Florida that you know, went down into, this was actually before that, but you, know, it, it, um, you don't wanna fall through the bedroom into a cave. And um, like I said, later on, he didn't tell us right away about the well until uh, we were basically leaving the field from like the day. So, oh yeah, you know, there's a, there's a well over there that we, we, we tried to, to drill. But I, I, I think that's why the whole problem developed. Another thing we did was actually, so we, we his house was still there. And so we couldn't run the radar um, beneath his house. So we, we ran it next to it in an um, area that, that it made, we could see a few of the pressures. It looked like it was uh, probably still sinking in, in there and probably not an area where he would want to move his house. And then we found a couple other spots that he, or he, he showed us a couple other spots where he was thinking about moving his house to. And by the time I put this on Google Earth, he'd already, uh, Google Earth was already showing his new house. So this was the foundation for the new house. But we did some survey over here to see if the same kind of uh, karst features were showing up in either of these areas that he had um, where his house, or near where his house was. This is um, his house from the front and from the side. You can see in his cinder block foundation was cracked there, and in his uh, bedroom, there was a big uh, separation in the door frame. And underneath the house, this was the killer, there was basically a, a land, the ground, you could see basically there was uh, the two parts of the house were pulling apart. <laughs> you know? It's like a, we, we tell you about uh, having got normal falls, basically, where you have land being pulled apart and uh, it, uh, one side drops down or whatever, basically you're seeing a, a sort of a drop in here on a micro scale underneath his house. So, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, by the time we got, they, they, they had taken the foundation down and we got back out there, they had filled this in so we never saw it again um, after the house was down. But that, the trend of that seemed to match some trends um, that we saw when we did the radar, although. At the surface, you know, it, it wasn't. It wasn't like there was a big hole. There, you know, there were just kind of little, little. Uh, so around here, uh, if you start seeing the land change, even just five centimeters of sinking, you're probably looking at something that's not not normal, not something you should should, should ignore because um, here's this kid playing, and that's basically. When we ran the radar across that, we can see that's basically a feature that goes down uh, four or five meters underneath there uh, that's, that's sinking. So uh, this well is the, the area where he came was drilling um, this new well.